Okay. Uh, uh, I think you're using the word. That's why you're pointing up the meaning. Han means with or together. With or together. So you have the word like construct. Everyone got that? So struct means to build. Construct means what? Together. This is the ancient, in the olden days, when um, people built their houses, it was usually what? A community affair. So you usually built it as a group. You were building it with someone else. And that's why that word has such a meaning that way, at least culturally. Okay. Okay, what's my next one? G. G. Where are G? Opposite, yes. Very good. I like that. So, yes. It actually has the meaning I love is down. So, you know the word depressed? When you're feeling depressed, depressed, it means you're feeling what? Pushed down. That's the way you feel when you get depressed. Uh, there's one more meaning for that one, though. Important thing. Away. So when you have a word like deport, it means what? Carrying away. Getting away. And that's how you come to continue to build words. Okay? Now, that was all the low level, right, folks? Let's do the upper level. Port. Anyone? Port. Let me think of some meaning. Can you think of some words? Anytime. Because port means it's all, I, I know what word you're thinking of. That's why we had, I got it. Okay, okay. It actually means bring or carry. Bring or carry. Let me give you some words. If you know port means bring or carry, you have access to literally hundreds of words. Here we go. Export means bring or carry where? Out of. Let me try and focus. This X means out of. Bring or carry in. Import. Because in means in. You ready? Deport. Bring or carry where? Away. Deportation, all of that, right? One more. Transport. Transport means what? Bring or carry across. Okay, so far? Do you see the vocabulary? You have access to literally hundreds of these words. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, oh, I know. What do teachers always give the kids to write? Report. Make sense? You go out, you do this, da, 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 you write a report. Well, what do you think report means? Bring or carry where? Back. So you get the information and you bring it where? Back. So then you have a word like reporter. What does a reporter do? Er means a person. So a person who goes out in the field, gathers the news, and what? Brings it back. So literally, you have all these kind of words that you would access by just what? One use. Okay, so far? Let's try it again. Go. You want to try it? Yeah, yeah. I like Jeff. The kids love Jeff. I'm glad we like Jeff. What else does it mean? Think of some words. Low. Very close. It means to throw. To throw. Let me tell you why the kids love this word. Eject. Yeah, if the plane's going down, you're going to do what? Eject. So you're going to actually be thrown out of the what? The plane. Does it make sense, folks? Now, some of you said subject. It's really, really good. But the meaning that you have and the meaning that was originally is a little different. Originally, what that means, it meant what? What, what does sub mean? Under. So when you got conquered, you subjected to rule of another. You were under the rule of another group. That was the original meaning. And then the meaning got shifted to be what? Subject. Which then kind of changed. I know all the all the parts of my theory. But give me another word, folks. You got that. Anytime. Prepare. So if you're talking to me and you say, I want you to what? Throw your voice where? Forward. So project it out forward. That's what we're talking about. Good one. Give me another one, folks. Excellent. Isn't that so sad, we just? It's such a great word. That, that it means to what? Throw where? Back. Sorry, you have your report. I'm rejecting it. It goes back to you. Throw back. Give me another word, folks. Give me a synonym. Good. Inject. What do you think inject means? Throw it in. <laughs> Very good. So you get an injection when you have to what? Something's what? Thrown into you. Or when you interject 
also interject, right? It means to what? Throw between. And that's really cool. Do you see the level of words for decoding that it takes up access to? That's what we're talking about once you know your rules. Go right there, Ryan. some words and give you some hand gestures. And okay. Yeah, you got to stand up. Uh, nope. Okay, I'm going to give you the meaning. Ready? Catch means to drag or pull. Yes, you got it. She said attract. It means to what? Pull where? Out of. Pretty simple. <laughs> See, that's what they're going to do is what? Pull out of it, right? Give me another word. Catch. Oh, beautiful word. Contrast. Not this kind of contrast, you know, when maybe women seem very boring in contrast. <laughs> Not that kind of contrast. Originally, that word didn't mean that. It had a different meaning. In the olden days in ancient, um, not the ancient, so ancient, <laughs> like medieval England, you had a contrast. What did a contrast do? Con means what, folks? With or together. Track means what? Pull. That's what we're talking about. Very good. Give me another word. Talk about it. Oh, what's that? What was that? Oh, contrast. <laughs> no, I'm not going there. Because <laughs> it kind of evolved the meaning, so it's a little hard to pull it that way. You see, how do you say, how do you say contraction? And then you do a pregnant. It, it really happens. That was in the original and you now have it together. You can make it fit there. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, we'll make it fit that way. That's a good one. I like that. Give me another one, folks. What happens if you're trying to make a point and you have to make a point? Uh, how do you do that? Uh, how do you know what you're trying to make a point and what you're doing? Contraction means to what? Pull. And usually there's something that attracts her is what? Pulling. So it's a real perfect word. Give me another one, folks. You know when you're, uh, um, you're interviewed by a reporter, he says something that was wrong. What do you do? I want a what? Retraction. So you're what? Pulling it back. Make sense, folks? Give me another one, folks. One more time. Dis oh, do you see that? One? Distract. That's what kids do all the time, right? You're talking to someone and they distract you and then you'd be gone, right? So what it means is what? Pulls your attention where? Away. And that's a distraction. And one more, detract. Similar kind of meaning, what? Pulling what? Away. Make sense with this vocabulary part? If the kids have this, then they have what? A lot of words for their vocabulary. Quick question. Oh, tell us. Come on, folks. Tell us. Tell us. Oh, yeah. Tell us. <laughs> tell us, folks. Okay, use it as, 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 as willing to communicate. That's, that's a real good way to do it. Tell them in far. So that's why you have telescope. It allows you to see where? Far. And that's how you get that kind of word. Does that make sense, folks? So if you hear this kind of word, not a problem. Why is it also important? Let's look at science. Do you see biology? Where they have to classify all the animals and all the phylums and whatever? There's a, um, there's a lot of teaching science to kids. Um, and one of the um, phylum is echinodermata. If you knew what each part meant, then it's easy for you to figure out what phylum the kids are uh, going to place the animals in. Hina means finding. Skin means what? Skin. So echinodermata means what? Finding skin cells. So usually it's in the main biology. First one, crawfish. Make sense? So that's the animal that belongs to that family. Another animal that people don't really think about is sand dollar. A sand dollar also has by feel something that's fun. I call it fuzz. <laughs> but it's actually more spiny if you actually kind of think of that. If you knew those kind of terminology, then memorizing all these what? Animals 